Hello everyone and welcome back to Life with Back. Today we are filming from the Tesla studio and uh, I'm super excited to uh, showcase you some interior lighting products. Uh, I've been waiting for this one for a while and uh, I've just talked with uh, one of our sponsors that was uh, nice enough to send uh, me these products for review. Um, the sponsor name is Tesla SY so if you want to go to their website and check their accessories uh, I also managed to negotiate a discount for all the subscribers of my channel, but more on that a bit later. What is going to be uh, happening in this uh, video? So first of all, we have some LED lights for the interior of our car. Uh, these LED lights will be uh, app controlled. Also, we have a remote control where we can we can control them and uh, they will be on the top uh, part of uh, the dashboard and also on the center console above the wireless chargers. All right, so let's do the unboxing of this one. Uh, I have to be honest with you, I uh, unboxed this one uh, before starting the filming because I really, really wanted uh, to see how they are. Um, so I'm going to explain a bit uh, what do we have here. First, this is a uh, USB extender. Uh, why? Because this lightning kit will uh, be connecting to the USB port of your car. So uh, this is something that will go in uh, the glove of compartment. You will be able to put the USB stick for the sentry mode and also uh, the lights, the interior lights. Then we have this remote control, very nice, but I think I'm gonna use the app to be honest. Then uh, we have these two things, which are the LED strips. Uh, I already connected them, so I will show you a bit how they work. So first of all, we have one short LED strip. This one will go in the, in the, center, in the center console on uh, uh, the left and uh, we have a longer strip. This one. This one is really, really, really long. And it will go on the dashboard, on the center dashboard. All right. Both of them uh, have a connector. Of course, uh, long enough wire. Uh, so both of them, uh, they will be connected here. And they will go uh to uh this usb this usb will be plugged in to this so i'm gonna show you a bit what this is this is actually uh the role of this one is so uh the usb will go here and uh this one will go into this docking station uh, the role of this is uh, to turn on and off uh, the lights when the car turns on and off so it's sort of a sensor uh, for uh, activating or deactivating the lights uh, the mounting is quite simple uh, i'm going to show you exactly what we will do in a bit uh, before starting the mounting uh, what i want is to test them out uh, we already have this uh, USB port here. Let me just move the camera for a bit. So we already have this USB port here. So we have the opportunity to test it. First, let's see if the lights are working and then we will go with the installation. Okay. So we already saw that this one goes on i hope you can see it even if it's daylight uh the light is quite uh, quite obvious uh, to be honest uh, so this is the long one okay and uh, we also have the short one so we have both of them here this is the long one that will be applied on the dashboard and this is the short one that will be applied on uh, 
the center console. Uh, we have the small uh, LED bar here. Uh, I will push it up a bit so uh, it won't be visible during the during the day. Anyway, uh, when you are driving, you literally cannot see this, so it's not bothering me that much. And uh, we have the big LED bar here, the long one, which goes all the way from this part to the other part of the dashboard. Uh, and where will we mount this? Uh, well, I hope you can see that there is a gap, a small gap. If you if you uh, if you move a bit this plastic dashboard, there is a gap uh, between uh, the airflow system. I hope I can zoom it in enough between the airflow system and the dashboard itself so there is a small small gap and uh, what we will be doing we will be introducing this part into that gap uh, with the white part in the exterior because the white part is actually the LED light what I like about this one and um, I forgot to add that we also have this pry tool. Uh, this will be very helpful when we want to uh, install uh, the light. And also we have this uh, 3M tape. Honestly, I'm not planning to use this because already by uh, putting this one in this small, small, small little gap, uh, there is no need for a tape, uh, to be honest. So you simply uh, stick it here and uh, that's it. It will stay by itself. If not, of course, we'll be using the tape. Uh, what I like about uh, this uh, system is that um, it's not visible during the day. I saw other cheap uh, LED lights that uh, stay visible during the day. Also, they, uh, they attach here. So. Um, during the day you see a plastic thingy hanging uh, on top. I don't really like that uh, and I think this one is really suitable. Um, what will happen next? That cable will go all the way on the side and it will reach the glove box compartment. Also this small little cable will go all the way here on the edge and also go into the glove box compartment. So we'll not be having any loose cables or something and uh, I think it will be a really smooth install. All right, so what I did to make sure that this uh, uh, light is uh, even in both left and right, I just put this uh, guided tape uh, to measure the distance between the side and uh, the beginning of uh, the LED light. And I also did it the same in this side. So. Uh, make sure you have an even distance so when you have the light on uh, it's of course uh, it's uniform on both the left side and the right side of your car uh, that's a good start before installing and then what you can do uh, you can simply keep this tape here so this is gonna be the beginning of your install and you can start from from this point on I have already started to introduce this uh, these LED lights here so as I said before there is a tiny tiny little gap uh, between the H uh, back system and this dashboard so you simply need to uh, to pull this up a bit and then uh, this one can be introduced. Uh, make sure, of course, you uh, do not put it in too much because, after all, uh, you want the LED lights to be visible. In the same time, as an alternative, what you can do, you can simply stick the LED light with the 3M tape provided. You can stick it here in this panel below. Uh, in this way, the light will be more intense, of course. But what I didn't like about this method of uh, installing is that during the day, you will probably see uh, this white line. So, uh, 
imagine if uh, this would be here uh, under you would probably see it if it's hidden under this uh, under this uh, tiny little space you won't see it during the day and in the light in the night it will uh, be uh, bright it will give a nice uh, glow effect I will continue in the installation until the end and then I will show you the result okay so we are almost done with uh, the installation I just wanted to show you how you should do it uh, you can either use the pry tool or you can simply lift up with uh, this finger and then press it in it's it's really really easy uh, once you have already pushed it in the channel it's quite easy uh, so yeah almost done it's uh, only this last part and then we'll talk about how to uh, connect the cables so the installation it's done uh, i hope you can see this uh, white strip we'll connect it right away to the power source uh, so again, it's good to use this uh, tape um, because it will uh, show you exactly where uh, does the strip ends and it, it will also be a good indication to put it symmetrically in both sides. Uh, what we will do now, uh, we will connect uh, these cables. So I have already uh, connected this one uh, and um, I also installed it here like the console one the center console one uh, this is super easy installed you just push it here um, you also have the option to use uh, the tape uh, so you have the 3m tape here uh, you can use this tape to uh, maybe stick it on top uh, so if you if you stick it here on top it won't be visible anymore and uh, the light will be a bit more, uh, so it, it's not gonna be that strong. It's gonna only reflect here on this part. So you have two choices, either put a tape, a 3M tape and hang it on top, or you just push it here. Uh, again, because the driving position is like similar, but from the other side, uh, you don't really see this trip while you're driving and while you're in the car so uh, it doesn't bother me to keep it this way uh, but you have the option to put a 3m as well here i didn't put the 3m tape on purpose because i wanted this to be in as much as possible um, you have the options of sticking the 3m tape here and uh, sticking the um, the led light um here it's gonna be more visible if you put it here like uh, if you stick it on this part uh, but in the same time i do not like the effect of seeing the white line uh, during daytime when i'm not gonna use the lights anyway uh, so i think this one it's very uh, this this type of mount it's something that i like but please keep in mind that you have both options available you can either make it more visible or make it invisible and only visible during the night when your light will be on uh, what i did i connected both lights so we have this connector here uh, so from this wire you simply uh, pull it into this connector also from this wire you drag it and you connect it to the other side uh, this connector is has on the other end this USB, which is actually the lights module. Uh, this one goes into this USB, which I've shared before. It's the sensor. And then you have the actual connection, uh, the USB-C, that can be placed in the glove box compartment. But for testing purposes, I'm going to put it here. I'm gonna connect it to uh, this uh, center console uh, USB and we already see the light starting so uh, we have a light here and also here so it started already um, I'm just gonna do 1.5 
so i'm not sure if you can see but the light is all the way till the left side uh, and it's symmetrical anyway i'm gonna make a video uh while my car is parked in the garage so you can see the fact that it's symmetrical it's very important to realize the symmetry otherwise the effect will uh, be uh, not that good in the evening and we also have this led light uh, for the um, um, the center console it looks really cool uh, the next step is of course the wiring part because uh, that's a bit tricky and I'm going to show you in a bit how it's done. So for the center console uh, lightning, um, the uh, wiring till the glove box, it's really, really easy. So what you need to do is simply uh, route the wire here and uh, that's it. You will be able to uh, put it here in the center console I'm just gonna open this so you can see it so I routed the wire here and yeah you basically have it already in the console you just put it here here we will use the uh, docking station that was provided uh, when we got the lights and uh, you will be using this connector to power the lights really simple install I'm gonna close the glove box now so we can see that it's not uh, disrupting anything. Yeah, quite easy. And let's proceed with the routing of this wire, which is a bit more complicated. Okay, so I managed to route this cable all the way to the glove box compartment and I'm gonna show you how. So for this, you simply need to use the pry tool and remove this side panel I already had it removed but it's with clips so it will go off right away that's the first step then you need to remove this one and for doing so you just have to pull pull this a bit so this one can uh, can go out simply have to remove this one again it's with clips so it will go off really easy then what i did i took this cable i passed it through this little little hole and then i uh, routed it in the glove box compartment let me just show you how i did that so um you have to take this edge basically Put it all the way from here all the way on the other side uh, you do this by simply lifting up the dashboard a bit it's very very uh, easy to do it and then you will have this part here and then you use one of the holes i use this hole uh, to to route this one in the glove box compartment so we have it here it does not interfere with uh, closing the glove box. It's closed and uh, it's very important. The cable is not tense. So if I pull this, you see, it's very, very loose. So that means that uh, the cable is not under a lot of pressure. That's very important. So your lights can work properly. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put this back here, this one as well, here, and we are good to go. All right, once we have all the cables here, the next thing to do is super simple. Uh, first, you will need to connect the lights to power. So I'm not sure if there is uh, like which uh, cable should go into which power source but I'm gonna connect both now all right so here you go uh, they are connected to power and then uh, we will use this USB extender remove our sentry mode USB connect the extender here 
let's see. Great, so we have a light here. That means that the extender is working properly. Connect our Tesla USB inside because we don't want to miss any action from the sentry mode. One second. Okay, we have it connected and then we need to connect this sensor to the controller of the LED lights, right, on one hand and on the other hand we will be connecting the USB of the sensor in the power here. Uh, cable management can be better, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some uh, uh, some uh, uh, things that I can group the cables with. I'm gonna connect this USB here just to test it and then I'm gonna do the cable management and I'm not sure if you can see but uh, the light started. So that's great. Uh, coming up next, downloading the app that we have here on the LED controller and let's see how the lights are working. So after you open the app, all you need to do is to connect to this uh, device. It's already connected here. You can also disconnect. Now you are disconnected. So whatever command you will hit, it won't work. But if you go back and you hit connect here, the connection will be realized with uh, the, the device via Bluetooth, of course. Uh, so now uh, we have this color that I like a lot. You can also power off the lights from here or you can power them on. You can play with different colors. Uh, what I see as a minus in the app is that basically the colors from the app, let's press on red now, the colors from the app does not really represent the color from the dash. So uh, I already shared that with the manufacturer that sent me the lights. I hope this can be fixed uh, in the future. Uh, but uh, for me, honestly, I don't need much. So I like this one a lot, the purple. Uh, you can adjust the lights, you can play a lot with uh, with the intensity of it. Uh, you can also have some other effects like you can do a RGB flash, uh, you can do lots and lots of stuff uh, with it. So let's go to the curtain part. So uh, you have here uh, the curtain effect, you have the white close, purple open, so all these kind of, of effects, right, uh, that, that are really, really nice. Again, uh, I don't see that the color is matching. As you can see now we have yellow open, but uh, the color that we have, it's not yellow definitely, it's uh, sort of a light blue. So I'm not sure why this is happening. Uh, you also have these water effects, if you want to do uh, white water, uh, whatever, all these kind of nice effects, but honestly uh, it's too much for me. Uh, but please, uh, just to let you know, these effects are there and you can you can actually uh, use them a lot. Uh, personally, I like the plain one. I just want to go through everything. So as you can see now, a dot is uh, running uh, through uh, this, uh, uh, this upper light. So you will see it now on the left as well. And the dot is also running in the lower part. Um, here you go, you see the dot on the left part. So yeah, you have plenty, plenty of options that you can choose from. I will personally do this like the natural one because I like it a lot. Um, and what you can also do, uh, that's really nice, you can actually play some music <laughs> here and it will uh, play according to the music. That's like super super interesting <laughs> of course or uh, you can simply talk and uh, the um, the light will adjust or will play 
um, uh, depending on the intensity of your speech. Test one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Life with back. One, two, one, two, three, four. So yeah, that is really, really interesting. But again, not for me. Of course, if you want to have uh, fun, <laughs> uh, you can do it. But for me, I like to keep it simple. So I'm just gonna do this one. I like it a lot. Another way of controlling the light is by using these remote controls. So you can simply hit uh, on and off here and the lights will turn on. Um, and you have here multiple uh, multiple settings. You can either set up the brightness, uh, you can change the mode. Uh, what I don't like is that some of these buttons do not really reflect the actual state of the lights. So for instance, if I press here on blue, the B, which should be blue, right? Uh, the color goes green then it goes to blue, then it goes to uh, purple. Uh, if I press on the purple button here, it's sort of a refresh of the color. Uh, so it's like restarting again the whole, uh, um, um, the whole light and it uh, resumes to the previous color that uh, we have set. Also, uh, if you press on the red one, it turns to blue. So again, I don't know why. Uh, I've sent the feedback already to the team that uh, sent me this. I hope that uh, they can fix it soon. Um, but just a disclaimer, this is the only uh, small drawback that I uh, found for these lights. Uh, personally, I like to keep it on this color. Uh, it's, a, it's a purple, so I will not need uh, all these uh, functions from the remote control, I will simply power on and power off uh, the lights uh, if I need them, and uh, that's it. It's really amazing, the lights, and also the fact that the lights are in this part, it reflects a bit on the side, so this gives the impression that you also have some ambient light here on the side, which is not true, of course, but uh, yeah. I really like them. Beautiful view in the evening with these lights on. Amazing. If you're interested in these lights, uh, go to teslasy.com. Um, as I said, for me, it's a very good uh, value for money investment. And also I like that the mounting is not very intrusive for the car. That's the reason I, uh, I chose the lights. Uh, if you go on their website, you will see that by using the code LIFE with BACK, you will have up to 20% discount off on all the items on their website. Uh, give it a try. There are a lot, a lot of accessories for the Tesla. You also have navigation systems. Uh, you also have um, rear entertainment screen. So lots and lots of accessories for the whole Tesla range. Uh, give them a try and let me know what accessories did you like the most and what accessories you would like to see on the channel. Um, as I said, a conclusion for this video, um, I like the easiness of uh, this uh, ambient lightning kit, the fact that it's not intrusive at all and it's super, super easy to install. Uh, what I don't like is that uh, the remote control or the app are not in sync with the colors that uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, system uh, shows you. So as I said, the purple is not purple, uh, the blue is not the blue. So uh, the color that you see on the remote does not represent or does not reflect the reality. But uh, it's not something concerning for me because uh, my goal is to keep uh, keep this ambient lighting system only on one color, which is purple. And I guess it will be the same for you. Once you decide on a specific color, you will just uh, put it there and you will probably forget about the remote or forget about the app because the color or the system goes on and off uh, when you are powering on or you are powering off the car. So I think it's a really good value for money accessory. Give it a try, as I said, on their website. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to click the like button if you liked what you saw in this video and if you like this accessory. Uh, also click subscribe and 
uh, smash the notification bell. In this way, you will be the first one to know whenever I'm posting a new video. If you want to buy a Tesla, don't forget to use my referral code down below. With this referral code, you will have up to 1000 euros discount for your Tesla and I will get some points that I can use for buying extra uh, mileage, extra supercharging miles or accessories and uh, with this I will be coming back to the channel and create new content for you. Uh, stay tuned on the channel, new projects are coming soon so see you soon.